Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the September BoxyCharm. I cannot believe we're already in September. And so I'm going to be trying on and sharing with you guys what I got in this month's box. So if you're interested in another try on unboxing, then just keep on watching. So the theme of September is Wildflower and we have the card here with all of the products in this month's box and we also have some coupon codes. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I see is a pack of three eye brushes and this brush set is from the brand Alamar Cosmetics and it retails for $18. So here are the brushes. We get a blending brush, a sort of packing brush, and then a flat maybe shader brush. And so I love the color of these. I have not seen any green brushes. I don't have any in my collection, so I love that. They also feel pretty soft, so these are what I'm going to attempt to do my eyeshadow with today with the eyeshadow palette that's in the box, and we'll talk about that next. So the eyeshadow palette is from Pretty Vulgar. It is the Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, and this retails for $35. I have not seen this yet, so I'm gonna pop it open. So this palette definitely is more on the smoky side. I do have a little bit of broken shadows or maybe just a little bit of fallout or crumbling on here with my darker shades in here, but there are some neutral lighter shades that are right up my alley, so I'm sure I will be able to create a look with this that I would wear on a daily basis. And if you guys didn't know, Pretty Vulgar is available in Sephora, so it is a more like high-end prestige brand, so I think it's really interesting that it's in BoxyCharm, and we have seen it in BoxyCharm before. I think they put a really great eyeliner in the box before, and I really liked it. So I zoomed you guys in so you can see the eyeshadow palette in use. I'm going to take the shade Break Free on the rounded like packing brush from Alamar. I'm not sure if they have specific uses, but I'm going to put this underneath my brow bone. So this shade Break Free is actually a really nice brow bone highlight. It's a little bit white. I'm going to take my blending brush from Alamar and the shade in the middle is called Pillow Fight. And it looks like it might be a satin finish, but I kind of just want to dust this all over the lid. Definitely more of a satiny shadow. It's not matte. Taking that same brush, I'm going to go into a matte shade called Hide and Seek. It kind of is like a gray neutral brown grayish neutral brown does that make sense and we're gonna pop this into the outer third of the eye these apply really really nicely I'm not sure if this brush set would be all that I need for a look I am already feeling tempted to reach into my other brushes but I do want to give you guys a complete look using what was provided for me so I'm not gonna do it Using the flat brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here called Clutch. It's kind of like a gunmetal, glittery shade. It reminds me a lot of shades from the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I'm going to drag this along my lower lashes, kind of into the area where I have a lot of wrinkles under my eye, and it's kind of bad today. I don't know if it was my concealer or just waking up on the wrong side of the bed, but I've got a lot of wrinkles under there, so I want to cover them up with shadow. So I actually really like this. So far, there's a lot that I could do with this, I'm sure. Uh, I did just realize that I have an eyeliner in the box that might be a little bit tricky to work with, and I am going to work. I work in a school, so I don't really want to have a dark, dark, smoky eye today if I want to keep my makeup on. So I am going to attempt a look with the eyeliner, and I think that's going to make it dramatic enough for my liking. So that's it for the eyeshadow. I did really like it. I think that Pretty Vulgar is a great brand, and I love seeing it in the box. Overall, I don't typically reach for smoky eyeshadow palettes so with this having a little bit of lighter tones in there for me to work with I'm sure I'm actually going to be inclined to reach for this palette in particular because of that so I appreciate that so we have a crazy eyeliner product in the box and I'm a little bit nervous for it this is from butter London it is the stroke of Wow roll-on eyeliner and it retails for $19 I have not tried the roller liners yet. I want to open this up and show you what is meant by that. My camera is struggling to focus, but basically this eyeliner is like a pizza cutter eyeliner. 
and hopefully you guys can see it has a little tiny wheel tip to it so I'll try to stay in frame for you guys while I do this no promises it's hard enough like I said with regular liner um, but I'm going to just attempt a cat eye with this pizza cutter <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. All right, I'm gonna go take this eyeliner off. Wow, I hate it. Gross. All right, so now I'm like sweating because I'm annoyed. I had to go take that off, fix my eyeshadow, and I added a little bit of mascara, but wow, what a waste of time. I really wish they wouldn't have put that in the box. I think it's so stupid, and I will never try another roller liner. Like, no wonder I have not tried one yet. Okay, so next up we have a blush. I love blush, so hopefully this saves it for me. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten, and this retails for $28. It looks like it's going to be a really pretty, like, multicolored pinky blush. It's in the shade Tropic Hues. So here's the shade I got. Kind of matches my nails. It's a bunch of different colors of pink marbled into the powder. I just grabbed a Sigma Powder Blush Brush for this because there was not a blush brush in the box this month for this. Ooh, there's a little bit of fallout here. It does look like it's a luminous blush, which is my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I don't know if you guys can see. A lot picks up on the brush, so I want to tap it off. And my face feels really bare without it, so I'm just going to add it to my cheekbones. I actually like this a lot. It has like some golden sheen to it, so I don't even really feel like I need to put a highlighter on today. We're just going to go for this like natural luminosity. Can you guys see what the blush did? I really like that. I actually love blush in general right now. It's one of my like most exciting favorite products. So if you guys are still watching, leave a comment down below letting me know what your all-time favorite blush is. Maybe I'll go on like a little blush shopping spree. I would love to know what you guys recommend. And the last item in the box is a Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick. And these retail for $19. Let me see what shade I got. Oh, it's a dark shade. I got a burgundy shade. It's literally in the shade Deep Burgundy. So I'm going to put it on for the sake of this video, but this is definitely too dark for what I'm doing today. My lips are very chapped because I stayed in a hotel room that really dried out my skin the other day. And so I don't know how this is going to apply. I tried to exfoliate earlier, so hopefully it will be okay. But I definitely have, like, flakes in the middle of my lips. Ooh, this smells good. Now I'm feeling quite fall. I actually really, really like this. It smelled really amazing. It felt comfortable. It actually went over my dry patches quite nicely. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate up the value of this month's box. Alright, so that was everything out of the September BoxyCharm. This eyeliner has got to go. But... The box added up to $119, so you do get your money's worth here. It's $21 for five full-size makeup items. It is unbeatable, in my opinion, when it comes to makeup subscription boxes. So I love it. I love the eyeshadow palette. The blush is definitely my favorite product out of the box. The brushes were great. And I actually really like the Lorac Liquid Lipstick as well. The eyeliner just totally threw me like, oh, no. But you guys know I love BoxyCharm. I think that they're great. You know, sometimes there's a dud and they usually make up for it in the next month. So I am looking forward to seeing what is in October's box because that is my birthday month. So hopefully they will redeem the eyeliner. The eyeliner, I mean, it might work for somebody. It did not work for me. Um, I definitely chucked it across the room, but I will give it to somebody if they want it. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoy the try-on versions of BoxyCharm, please give this video a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do these unboxings every single month, and I am thinking of incorporating other brands of subscription boxes onto my channel. So there is a new box out from Ipsy. It's called Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and it's basically like a full-size subscription box. They usually do samples, which 
but if you guys would be interested in me reviewing like their new full size item box then that is definitely something that is on my radar so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video bye